hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity natural log of x over square root of x square root of 1 plus x times square root of 1 plus 2x dx okay uh, how to begin well uh, first here uh, we have 2 times x so i am going to take a substitution 2 times x is equal to t so we know 2 times dx is equal to dt then uh, we can plug in limit uh, we know also 0 to infinity so integral form 0 to infinity natural log of x we know x is equal to t over 2 t over 2 over the square root of x so we have square root of t over 2 uh, here again square root of 1 plus t over 2 again square root of 1 plus t and uh, dx we know dt over 2 dt over 2 then um, here uh, we can simplify integral from 0 to infinity according to property of natural log the denominator we can write natural log of t minus natural log of 2 over now uh, here we have 2 here 1 over square root of 2 here again 1 over square root of 2 uh, 1 over square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2 we know 2 so uh, these two get cancelled so we have square root of t here uh, we know this 2 times 1 so square root of t plus 2 times square root of t plus 1 d t well uh, then again i am going to take a substitution t is equal to 1 over u then if we differentiate we have dt is equal to minus 1 over u square du then again we can plug in so we have uh, here now we should change the boundary uh, when t approaches to 0 we know u approaches to infinity t approaches to infinity u approaches to 0 then here natural log of t t is equal to 1 over u minus natural log of 2 over uh, here again t t we know square root of 1 over u then here t again we know uh, 1 over u so at the same time if we simplify here uh, 1 plus 2 times u over u uh, here square root of t plus 1 t we know 1 over u so 1 plus u over u times dt minus 1 over u square du then uh, we can simplify again here uh, boundary infinity to 0 we can change it uh, as 0 to infinity if we change the limit uh, we know this minus sign uh, get cancelled then uh, here natural log of 1 over u according to property of natural log uh, we know natural log of 1 over u is equal to natural log of 1 minus natural log of u but natural log of 1 is equal to 0 so here we have minus natural log of u plus natural log of 2 over now uh, we can simplify the denominator so we have here 1 over square root of u here again 1 over square root of u so if we multiply this we know we have 1 over u so this 2 get cancelled and now here we have 1 over square root of u here 1 over u so uh, we can simplify we know we will have square root of u so here uh, this square root of u we can write the square root of u uh, here we have square root of 1 plus u so 1 plus u square root of 1 plus 2 times u d u okay then uh, we know uh, 
we can split this integral into uh, two different integrals uh, also uh, at the same time uh, we know um, definite integral independent of the variable so instead of u we can substitute x therefore we have uh, minus integral from 0 to infinity natural log of x over the square root of x the square root of 1 plus x the square root of 1 plus 2 times x dx minus integral from 0 to infinity natural log of 2 over the square root of x the square root of 1 plus x the square root of 1 plus 2 times x dx okay then uh, we know our integral here uh, if we take this integral is equal to i we know here also we have i so 2 times i is equal to minus natural log of 2 we know constant so integral from 0 to infinity dx over the square root of x the square root of 1 plus x the square root of 1 plus 2 times x okay then uh, again uh, i am going to take a substitution here we have a square root of 1 plus 2x so i am going to take 1 plus 2 times x is equal to v then we should differentiate 2 times dx is equal to dv then we can plug in so we have uh, here minus natural log of 2 now limit when x approaches to 0 we know v approaches to 1 x approaches to infinity we also approaches to infinity then uh, dx dx we know dv over 2 so dv over 2 we can write outside of the integral sign and here uh, square root of x x we know if you isolate the x x uh, we know v minus 1 over 2 so we have here uh, v minus 1 over 2 and here x we know v minus 1 over 2 and here 1 plus 2 x we know v so square root of v okay then uh, again uh, we can simplify here we have uh, minus natural log of 2 then here 1 over square root of 2 1 over square root of 2 we know uh, 1 over 2 and these two get cancelled so we have uh, 1 to infinity dv over here uh, square root of v and here we have square root of v minus 1 uh, here uh, if we simplify uh, 2 times 1 so uh, v plus 2 minus 1 v plus 1 so here we have v plus 1 okay then uh, we know here difference of 2 is gone so we can write minus natural log of 2 integral from 1 to infinity dv over square root of v times square root of v square minus 1 well uh, then again i am going to take a substitution v is equal to 1 over w so we know dv is equal to minus 1 over w square dw okay then we can uh, again uh, plug in so here we have minus natural log of 2 now we should change the boundary when uh, x approaches to sorry v approaches to 1 we know uh, w also approaches to 1 when v approaches to infinity w approaches to 0 then dv dv we know minus 1 over w square dw over uh, here square root of v we know uh, 1 over w here uh, v square minus 1 v square we know again 1 over w square minus 1 then uh, let us uh, simplify here minus natural log of 2 then uh, we can change the upper limit and lower limit when we change the limit this minus sign get cancelled so here 0 to 1 now uh, we know here uh, 1 over 
square root of uh, w and uh, here we have uh, 1 over the square root of w square so square root of w square we know w so we know uh, this part and these two get cancelled so here uh, now we have uh, square root of 1 over w here 1 over w so we have in the numerator 1 over the square root of w over here uh, we know we have 1 minus w square okay then uh, again uh, we can take a substitution so i'm going to take w square is equal to y then uh, 2 times w dw is equal to dy uh, here we have w square root of w we know uh, w is equal to uh, square root of y so square root of w is equal to uh, square root of y raised to the one half so y to the 1 over 4 so we can plug in here uh, minus natural log of 2 limit uh, we know also 0 to 1 then uh, here 1 over uh, square root of w we know y to the 1 over 4 uh, here uh, i'm i forgot to write uh, d w so here now uh, 1 minus w square so we know square root of 1 minus y and uh, dw uh, we know dy over dy over 2 times uh, w w we know uh, y to the 1 half again uh, we can simplify so minus natural log of 2 here also 2 so over 2 integral from 0 to 1 now 1 over y to the 1 over 4 we know y to the minus 1 over 4 here y to the 1 half so minus 1 half over here 1 minus y to the 1 half dy then uh, i am going to rearrange uh, na like natural log of 2 over 2 integral from 0 to 1 now we know here y to the minus 3 over 4 over 1 minus y to the 1 half dy again we can write uh, minus natural log of 2 over 2 integral from 0 to 1 here y to the minus 3 over 4 we can write 1 over 4 minus 1 here 1 minus 1 to the minus 1 half so 1 half minus 1 dy now we know uh, about the beta function beta of xy is equal to integral from 0 to 1 t to the x minus 1 1 minus t to the y minus 1 dt so we know our integral is equal to uh, the beta function beta of 1 over 4 times 1 half so we can write this is equal to minus natural log of 2 over 2 uh, beta of 1 over 4 uh, comma 1 half then again uh, we know the relation between uh, beta function and gamma function beta of x y is equal to gamma of x gamma of y over gamma of x plus y so we can write here minus natural log of 2 over 2 uh, here gamma of 1 over 4 gamma of 1 over 2 over gamma of 1 half plus uh, 1 fourth we know 3 over 4 okay then um, here minus natural log of 2 over 2 uh, gamma of 1 half we know square root of pi uh, then here we have gamma of 1 over 4 so i'm going to multiply by uh, gamma of 3 over 4 both numerator and denominator so here we know gamma square of 3 over 4 well uh, then we know uh, about uh, euler's reflection formula gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi 
x so uh, we can simplify here uh, minus natural log of 2 over 2 uh, square root of pi uh, gamma of 1 over 4 gamma of 3 over 4 uh, we can write uh, pi over sine of pi over 4 and here we have 1 over gamma square 3 over 4 okay then uh, we can simplify here minus the square root of pi times pi we know phi to the uh, 3 over 2 and also uh, sine of phi over 4 we know 1 over uh, square root of 2 so uh, we have uh, minus natural log of 2 over 2 uh, phi to the 3 over 2 over uh, gamma square of 3 over 4 and here uh, the square root of 2 then we know uh, this is 2 times i so we have uh, 2 times i then uh, we know uh, this square root of 2 uh, get cancelled and here we have square root of 2 so we have i is equal to minus here pi here 2 here square root of 2 so pi over 2 uh, we know uh, cube root and uh, here we have natural log of 2 over gamma square of 3 over 4 okay this is the answer if you like this type of integrals uh, sums uh, so please subscribe this channel thank you for watching